Hello friends, this is Smita from the blog Smiling Colors and thank you for stopping by today. In this video I'm sharing a review of the Tombow Twin Tone Markers as well as a coloring tutorial of this illustration. I drew this illustration myself and shared a drawing video of it yesterday that you can check out by clicking the little eye circle on the right hand corner right now. Or you can find that video on my blog SmilingColors.com. On my blog I always have more photos, still images, product details and links of everything I mention in my videos. Okay, let's get started here. These are the Twin Tone Markers by Tombow. They come in two colorway sets, a bright set and a pastel set. Each set has 12 unique colors and I love all of the colors of both sets. The bright set has a rainbow vibe and the colors are vivid and bright. The pastel set on the other hand have much more softer and muted colors. I personally like both sets so don't ask me to choose between them. Now as the name suggests, the Twin Tone Markers have two tips. They, ha they have a broader marker tip and a finer precise tip. The marker tip is great to draw bold lines and the finer tip is great for adding tiny details. The properties of these pens are very similar to the jewel brush pens that the Tombow have. They have water based ink as well. That means you can move the color pigment with water on your paper or a colorless blender. The finer tip can be used for doodling and they actually dry quicker than a gel pen because the tip is so extra fine. Now with the broader tip I'm going to do some watercolor coloring today. Let's pull out my sketchbook and this peacock illustration. Which by the way you can download for free on my blog and you can color along with me if you want to. Find links in the description box below. For the coloring today I'm going to be using the bright set and I chose these four colors to start the peacock here. Using the broad tip I add colors in few areas. I generally try to bring the marker to the areas that will be the darkest and then with my brush which is just moist with water I move the pigment around slowly to fill in the lines. You want to add the marker to small areas and paint over it with the water pretty quickly. You don't want to give the pigment time to dry a lot. Now with the purple I'm adding in more details to the peacock feathers. You can see that I'm pretty messy while I'm adding the marker color. That's okay because I'm very careful and precise with my brush movements and make sure to spread the color only where I need it to go. Now I'm going to speed up this video here as I repeat the same few steps in different colors to fill this entire illustration in. In some areas the color seeped out as the water dried and this one particular was bothering me. So I used the mono sanding eraser to carefully erase what was outside the lines. This eraser is magical and this is a tool that every artist must own. You can erase pen lines, marker, water coloring and even color pencils with it. Now to fill in the background I used the fine tip of the twin tone pens to draw fine lines around my main coloring. This adds just a hint of color and pattern to the background. Now my watercoloring is dried completely and I'm going to go in with the marker to add a few extra details. The contrast of the watercolor and the marker adds more interest to the finished coloring. And that's it, my coloring is done and it's bright and colorful just the way I like it. If you have any questions for me about the new Twin Tone pens, leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a share and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my channel. Happy coloring!